Tibi Nauru Wapaka. Um, my question is to the Minister for Māori Crown Relations, Te Arapati. Does he believe that the government has a responsibility to uphold Te Tiriti or Waitangi? Hmm. The Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the uh, Minister, yes. Recognising that there will always be a wide variety of opinions as to what that means in practice and in every particular situation. And also recognising in doing so the need never to lose sight of the basic expectations of people living in a modern democratic society of equality before the law and equal say in matters affecting their lives. Uh, supplementary. <laughs> How does the Minister for Māori Crown Relations feel being wheeled out by this government to answer a question that was directed to the Prime Minister simply because he is Māori and the Prime Minister wants to distance himself from the responsibilities of the Te Tiriti Waitangi? Well, we're just... Um... Sorry, sorry. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Hang Minister... On, on. You can answer the question, but I'll just make the point that standing orders makes it very clear that the government collectively decides who is going to answer a question. Now, to describe the uh, Minister as being wheeled out uh, kind of implies something that is contrary to standing orders. Uh, he can answer the question, but I think those questions need to be a little more, more uh, cl cleverly put. <coughs> the Honourable Paul Goldsmith. On behalf of the Minister, I stand with great pride. <laughs> Supplementary question, right on Winston Peters. Does the Minister think that attending someone's a close relations tangi is a case of being wheeled out of this parliament has been put by that last idiotic questioner. No, that's not a question you can answer. It's a point that's yeah. made. Uh, Debbie Nauru will pack a Point of order. Yeah. A point of order. Uh, we ask that the decorum be restored to this house. And while it may be one person's... Just a minute. While it may be one person's Sorry, opinion... Sorry, we've got a point of order going on. You can start again, please. Thank you. Uh, we ask that we have a recall on the word idiotic. We can be really direct. Uh, well, I've ruled the question out, so it's effectively gone. Is there another sub at all? Yes. Debbie Nauru How does the what well, does the minister for beg your pardon for Crown relationships Te Arafiti believe that ongoing colonisation is good for Te Tiriti or Waitangi partners? Uh, on behalf of the Minister, I'm not sure what uh, the member means by ongoing colonisation. Um, we we uh, are a country that is our history uh, and um, uh, the, the focus of this government is to uh, rectify uh, the problems that have come alongside uh, colonisation and to build on the many successes. So it, um, will it be a supplementary question? Yes. The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Could I ask the Minister? Does two of the top three in this parliament who have got Māori background, or the highest percentage of Māori and Pacifica in a cabinet, or the highest in percentage in the country in terms of parliament, represent progress or the kind of retard comment you just heard? Point, point of order. Point of order. The Honourable, uh, sorry, Why Demi, Demi, Demi just a minute. Point of order is called. It is Demi, unparliamentary no, sorry, to... Just wait. The house is getting a little unruly, so uh, point of order, Debbie Nauru will pack it. The history of the word retarded is bad enough to be hearing in this house. In fact, people have endured years of abuse because of that very name, but is unparliamentary for a minister of that seniority and age group to be saying that in the house. Please, within your powers, stop that type of language in this well, house. Well, I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't want me to rule on the basis of uh, an ageist comment, but uh, I would ask the Minister to withdraw the, the, the word used. I withdraw the word used. <laughs> the point of order. Point of order, the Honourable David Seymour. Uh, Mr Speaker, shortly after uh, Debbie Noe Rapaka asked uh, to restore decorum to the House, uh, her colleague, Rawi Waititi, uh, was heard to shout out, what blood quantum are you? Now, Mr Speaker, if we're going to restore decorum to the House, I think Te Pāti Māori know everything uh, that they have to do 
And can I just point out, it's at least four times you've had to reprimand them for not knowing the standing orders today. Perhaps you could give them some lessons in your office after question time. Well, may I just uh, respond to the, um, uh, the point of order? I, I think um, getting into the House, going into a tit for tat of who said what, when the, a lot of it is just interjection, uh, would uh, see us here for some hours. Uh, if he's interested, presumably all questions uh, are direct to the Chair. 97%, uh, 98% uh, uh, Scotch-Irish and 1% Middle Eastern. Me. <laughs> Debbie Nauruma Packer. A point of order, we respect that the, I think I said the Deputy Prime Minister, that the Deputy Prime Minister has withdrawn the word, but you did ask for an apology. We are waiting no, for no, that. No, I did not ask for an apology. You did say withdraw and apologise. No, I did not. Right, okay. Settle down. So, uh, <laughs> was there a question that is, you're still wanting to answer, Paul Goldsmith? Yes, uh, um, I, I just wanted, to, uh, in relation to the question that was asked, uh, reassert um, the, the answer to the original question that, of course, that it identifies that there's a wide variety of views amongst Māori on uh, what it exactly means to uphold the Treaty of Waitangi, and this government is committed to doing just that. Uh, uh, supplementary, Madam Memo. Uh, Thank you, Kamakeke. Mr. Speaker. Just to the Minister um, Goldsmith, if I may, um, are you on record as having saying that, uh, having said that, uh, on balance, colonisation was good for us? And that being the case, might that be the way in which you will approach the role and anything pertaining to colonisation of? Yeah, questions. Please. Are, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Questions are not uh, directly asked to ministers; they're asked through the chair. Uh, do you have a? Point of order? You made my point for me. Thank you. Paul Goldsmith. Honourable uh, Paul Goldsmith. Well, uh, min uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Crown Māori Relations, uh, I didn't make those comments because uh, I'm answering uh, in relation to another minister. Yeah. Yeah. 